it's your boy again, man. So if you have an equation regarding anything has to do with mathematics, you know, feel free to ask me anytime, man. You know, the aim of this program is started just because to help a lot of women as much as they can. Because a lot of women out there who facing difficult, complaining how math difficult it is, you see? So if you women, you child, whichever grade you side or whichever level you're doing, just feel free to pass the equation to me, you see? Don't be proud of me, I'm here for you. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, I'm always here, man, your guy, man, you know, I'm here, and you know, <laughs> excuse me, unless you God decide to take me away, just like how it does to every one of us when the right time, when the time is ready. So, if you have a question, man, please, man, just pass the question to me, share with other people, don't forget to click that thumb button, like button, and you know, share with the men and women that you, as much as you can. Like I said, this project is more for the women. I'm not being selfish for my guys or what, but you know our women, and our mother, sister, and you know, aunts, and you know, grandma, and whoever. It doesn't matter which age you at, same equation, right? So if you have a sister, brother, and you my brother out there, please try to share with our sisters. Yo, what is up guys, man? It's me again doing another video, man. So, uh, we have a question here. They say, calculate the inverse of coefficient matrix that can be used uh, used to solve the following system, uh, system equation. So, first and foremost, yo, what is up guys, man? It's your man again in another video, man. Uh, we have a question here. They say, uh, calculate the inverse of coefficient of a matrix that can be used to solve the following uh, system equations. So, let's see how we can solve this equation. It's easy. So, what we'll do, <coughs> excuse me. So now, first and foremost, I'm gonna write this is uh, is a uh, is it like admitted or something like that. So I'm gonna say this is gonna be let me say three, two, one, negative one, one means I'm gonna write only numbers and then I'll leave the letter out. Let me put simple as that. So I'm gonna write your letter and then leave the number out. I mean, leave all these other stuff out. Or in another way, I'm gonna say I'll show my matrix is A. And this stuff here, like all those letters, I'll call maybe X. And then this stuff here, let's say call B. So I'm gonna write my matrix in this form. So that's to be said, I'm gonna say this is gonna be three, it's gonna be two eh? and one, so these are x's. So for y here is negative one, but here one y is one, and here y equal to two. Now we come for z on top is one, but we don't have a z here. So since we don't have a z, I'm gonna say zero. Look, we don't have a z here on the second row. And third one is negative one, and they say, okay, this matrix, this is a. And for x, x is, I mean this one here represent x, y, and, and z, and the last one, which is b, is 2, 1, and 3. You see? Something like this. So this is a, so this is matrix a. This is a matrix a. So this is a matrix a. And this is x, and this is b. So we want to get the inverse. It's easy. So it's make it to b. So for us to get inverse, how do we know inverse? Look, calculate the inverse of the coefficient of matrix that can be used to solve the following. So the one, the coefficients of a matrix. See, the inverse of a coefficient of a matrix. What does that mean? If I had, okay, excuse me. If, let's say, okay, how am I going to get the inverse of this matrix? Because I said I want to get inverse. Means I have to take to the other side. So this, let me say, x equal to a, negative one times b. So this is what we're looking for, these coefficients of a matrix, a inverse. This is something that's what we're looking for. So now, let's see how we can get the inverse of this matrix. Excuse me. So first and foremost, find the determinant of the matrix. Please find the determinant of matrix A, given matrix. I'm going to say, okay. So determinant for matrix A, you can say determinant of A, determinant of A, matrix A, or you can say that, so let me write in my post. So I'll say determinant of A, A, or sometimes if you say A, and then you put this absolute until you tell them this is a determinant of a matrix. You see? So this is how you get determinant of matrix A. Face. Take this number here, the first one, means when you, you start with this 3, and then 3, you don't need this, you don't need this, you say 1, 2, you write here 1, 2, and this is 0, eh? now we go for the second number. So we assume we, we use the first row, we use the first row. So take a second number, so the second number is negative, okay, quickly, excuse me. Whenever I have 3 by 3 matrix, the first number always positive, the second is negative, and this is positive, and this is always negative, this is positive, this is negative. This is positive, this is negative, this is positive. So the first one is positive. That's why even if I didn't put sign here, but it should be positive outside. But the second one is negative. So this should be negative. Okay? And then I'm going to say now I'm looking for this number here. So if for this number, I'll say it's negative 1. And then I'll put my up. If this is negative 1, it means I don't need this. I don't need this. I'm going to use 2, 1. 
to the one and then zero negative one. Zero negative one. Now we go for the last one. For the last one, I mean this number. So this number is positive. So we're gonna say, okay, this is positive. So of course it's gonna be positive. Now we go positive. So which number is one? And that was okay. So since I'm, I'm working with this number, I don't need this, I don't need this. So I'm gonna use this matrix here. Two, one, and then one, two, one and two. So plug this in the calculator. So this is gonna say, let me say three. Three, so it's good. So this time I say three, it's gonna be three, and now take one times negative one is negative one, minus two minus two times zero, so you multiply this, minus this, multiply this. So say three is just a three. One times negative one is negative one. And okay, so now we multiply the second one, so this is gonna be uh, negative and negative is positive, so it's gonna be positive, and then uh, one, one bracket, two times negative one is negative two, and then one times zero is gonna be minus zero. This time it's gonna be negative two, and then one times zero is zero, and then you come for the last one. Look, for the last one is positive. Look, this is, <coughs> excuse me, it was positive. So it's positive, and they say one, now you go these two. All right, so now, remember when I get matrix inverse. So get matrix inverse is easy. You get in matrix inverse by saying uh, one over determinant of a matrix that you got, we're looking for, and then you ma you multiply by transpose of a cofactor. Or sometimes they say uh, uh, transpose of cofactor, over determinant of a matrix. This means take from a uh, determinant matrix. So now, what's follow is, excuse me, what's follow, so what we're gonna do now, we're gonna have to find the uh, cofactor of it, of it. Before we get transpose of a cofactor, we have to find what is cofactor means, because I mean, you can't transpose anything if you don't know what it is, so we have to get what we're looking for. So first of all, let's find the uh, cofactor of a matrix. So cofactor of a matrix, meaning, so we have to get here cofactor one, cofactor face row, uh, face column, so we're gonna say this, okay, let's go. So cofactor, of the first row, first column means we're going to say first row, first column. Cofactor of the first row, second column. First row, second column. Cofactor of the first row, uh, first column. Say, say, same here. Cofactor of the second row, first column. Second row, second column. Second row, third column. Cofactor of the third row, first column. Cofactor of the third row, second column. Cofactor of the third row, second column. So I'm saying. So now. So now, let's get this easy. So I'm going to get cofactor. Okay, if you want to start, for example, let's get cofactor. Uh, the first cofactor. Cofactor one means the first cofactor. Something very important here, right? Just before, there's a lot of ways you can do, but the easy and quickest way. Remember that here, this must be negative for cofactor. This for cofactor. All right. So there's a lot of ways, but the short way. Just remember, right? This one must for. This is for cofactor. So if you want to get cofactor, just remember this must be negative and this negative. This is negative and this negative in your head, right? And then I'll show you now mathematical way how to calculate. But in your head, you know, negative like you see this diamond sign like. You know what I'm saying? This, this, and this, these are negative. But in your mind, you, 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 you're gonna have to show, but in your mind, you know, it has to be negative. So it's okay. So cofactor one means the face, row, face, column. So how are you gonna get face, row, face, column? It's okay. So this same say, put your negative one. So this is a formula way. Put negative one, and it's okay. One and one. So it's a one plus one. You know, say one plus one? Because you wanna get positive here. Because this is, must be positive, right? Only these other one are negative. So this must be positive. This is positive. This is positive and this is positive and positive. Say so one plus one because this is going to give you negative. So, and then you say you multiply by minor. This is what we call minor. Minor, one, one. Minor. Okay, let's see how we're going to get minor of one, one. To so get minor one, one, and go to the original matrix and they say this is the one, one. Means face row, face column. So, you don't need this, you don't need this. So, you're going to take this matrix. This is going to give you minor one. So, it's okay. So, this is me say negative one, one. It's going to be just negative one, one square and then how you get minor one minor one you get you find it look minor of one means you have to find the determinant of this matrix so say one two zero and negative one and this is going to give you the cofactor of the face row face column so now okay so now excuse me so now you multiply again negative one so we're going to do the same thing when you probably when you get, you get negative also uh, uh cofactor of one row one column one equal to negative one now we go for cofactor of one row second column so you do the same strategy so your number you know it has to be negative negative one you can put negative and then you multiply by minus of two one like let me show you the shortcut shortcuts you can just say this is negative one and then you multiply by the co by the minor what is the minor minor this is number the second one means you don't need this you don't need so you say two and one zero and negative one so zero and uh, excuse me uh, two and one because this is a number so you don't need this you don't need two and one two and one two and one and then zero Zero negative one, but it's always good to show your work. So that's why most of the time I encourage it's okay. So you should put your negative one and say okay. So this number wanted to be negative. So how's it gonna be negative? Look, one and two. Should I add one and two? No, it's gonna give me three. Yeah, I should because negative one cube is gonna give me negative. So that's it perfect. And then you multiply by your minor. Which minor? Minor of minor of what of one two means they one into the same position. 
So it's okay. This is going to be negative 1 because negative 1 cubed is negative 1 and then multiply by minus. What is a minus? If this is a number, so we're going to take this, 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 and this. Another way, 2 and 1. And then 0, negative 1. 0, negative 1. So now you multiply this will be negative 1. 2 times negative 1 is negative 2. Minus. This will be 0. So it's going to be 2. So cofactor of 1, 2. All right, so now we're going to go cofactor of 1, 3. So we know this number has to be positive. So it knows negative 1 bracket. So if it should be positive, we should, I think we should add 1 in. 3 is going to be 4. So negative 1 power 4 is going to be positive. You see, or you can even say 3 minus 1, which is going to give you 2. And they say negative 1 squared is going to be positive. So whichever, some books you're going to say, they say 3 minus 1, which is going to be 2. And when you square, you know it's going to be positive. Or you say 3 plus 1. Or you say 1 plus 3. It's going to be 4. Okay, now you multiply by minor. Minor, which minor? Okay, so now this is going to be 1, 3. And then we multiply by minor. Which minor? Minor of 1, 3. Means minor of here. Row 1, third column. So say minor of 1, 3. Let's see how we're going to get minor of 1, 3. Means this is a number here. So if this is a minor we're looking for, means you have to take this. Matrix 2, 1, 1, 2. So you say this is the same as A. Okay, this is going to be 1, 1, 4. It's going to be positive 1. And then let's multiply by minor. Minor of here means it's going to be 2, 1, 2, 1, and then 1, 2. So this is say 1 multiplied by 2 times 2, 4. Minus 1 times 1 equal to 1 equal to 3. So this is going to be 3. So cofactor of 1, 3 equal to 3. So you do the same strategy all along. See? So now I can cofactor of 1, 4. Let's get cofactor of 1, 4. Cofactor of 1, for of okay, so now we go for cofactor 2 1, cofactor 2 1 means here, the cofactor of here means this one. So we're going to say, okay, so that means we know this has to be negative. So since it has to be negative, so what we're going to say, excuse me, so since it has to be negative, we say, okay, so always have to have a negative 1. And how I'm going to make it negative 1, I look this two number, this is 2 and 1. So I'm going to make it negative. Of course, I have to say 2 plus 1, which is going to give me 3. Negative 1 cube is going to be negative 1, you see? I'm cool. Or you can say 2 minus 1. Same thing, so see what I give you. If you don't want to do all of this, you can just put it negative is 10 and then you multiply by your minor minor of what of 2 1 so to get minor of 2 1 where's 2 means here this is row 2 first column so i'm going to get minor means i'll take negative 1 and 2 instead so this is say this is say negative 1 when you multiply this negative 1 minor of 2 1 minor of here means negative 1 2 you multiply by minor of here which is you take this because when you you don't need this so negative 1 and 1 negative 1 and 1 and they say 2 and negative 1 2 and negative 1 so then you multiply so this is going to give us, <coughs> excuse me, okay, so negative 1 outside, and they say negative 1 times negative 1 is positive 1, minus 2 times 1 is 2, which is going to give us positive 1. So cofactor 2, 1 equal to 1. Cofactor 2, 1 equal to 1. So I'm going to write the race, and they can try to calculate it, right? You see what I'm saying? And then after that, so now, you see, we have some of the cofactor. Cofactor 1, 1, so this let me say, excuse me, this let me say cofactor. 1, 1, we got always 1 is negative 1, so now we replace it with negative 1. Cofactor 1, 2 means 1, 2 is going to be 2. So this is equal to cofactor 1, 3 equal to 3. So now you do the, okay, 2, 1, 1. So do the other one, 2. So which is going to be, <coughs> so now, so the second cofactor is 1. Okay, so you're going to calculate the other cofactor. If you have a problem, please let me know. And this is going to be negative 4. When you calculate it using the same methodology, the next is going to be negative 7. And this other cofactor is going to be, uh, excuse me, it's going to be negative 1. And the next one is going to be 2. And the last one is going to be 5. You do the same methodology. If you get confused, please let me know. I can always explain again. You know what I'm saying? So you're going to get all the cofactors. So I'm going to rate this because you have all the cofactors. You're going to calculate it. So we have all the cofactors. I'm going to rate this and finish your question. So now, <coughs> excuse me, since you got all the cofactors, so we want to get to a bit. We say we want to transpose phase because we okay, so we have our cofactor already. So now what we're gonna do, listen, if you want to get matrix inverse, always equal to one of a determinant of a matrix you're looking for, and then you multiply by transpose of a cofactor. So now we have a cofactor already, which is this one. So let's transpose. So this is how we transpose the cofactor. When you transpose means you flip around. So say cofactor transpose. We take the original cofactor, which is this one, we transpose means this column is gonna be row and row is gonna be column. So this face column is gonna be face row. So now it's going to become row. Negative 1, 1 is going to be here, and negative 1 is going to be there. And then this one's going to, as the column is going to be the second row, negative 4, and it's going to be 2 here. And then the last one's going to be last row. It's going to be 3, negative 7, and 5. So this is it. Cofactor or transpose. And finally, we can get matrix inverse. So matrix inverse equal to 1 over determinant. Determinant you already got, which is negative 2. And like I said, since it's a number, so the inverse does exist, which, which we get it now. 
So I'm saying, but if it's zero here, I mean the matrix does not exist, but it's not zero. So now we multiply, we multiply by matrix or transpose, which is negative one, two, three, one, negative four, negative seven, and then one, two, five. So now what we do, we multiply everything by negative a half. So it's okay. So the first one's gonna be positive a half, and then this is gonna be negative a half, the second one, and the last one's gonna be negative a half. Now we go, <laughs> excuse me. Now we go for this one, and the second one, which is going to be negative one, negative one, of course. Yeah, negative one, and then this is the second one. A half times is going to be equal to positive two. And then this one's going to be negative one, negative one, of course. And then this is going to be three over two, negative three over two. And the next one, seven over two. And the last one, negative five over two, negative five over two. So that's the matrix inverse that we're going to use to calculate it or to find the solution of a matrix. So we say, okay, so finally, this is going to be. Finally, what we're looking for is a half positive, excuse me, negative a half, and then negative a half. Or you can put decimal, excuse me, let's put in decimal because you have a final uh, negative a half. Okay, so negative a half, negative one, and there's a two. Okay, so now this could be, uh, this will be equal to, uh, neg uh, excuse me, this is two here, it's not negative half. So this is two, and this is negative one, and this will be negative three over, <laughs> three over two. When you multiply in, I'm trying to rewrite it. Seven over two, and then this is negative five over two. Then you can write it the decimal if you want. And then this is the same, but the question is done. So this is going to be 0 0.5, and this is going to be negative 0 0.5, and this is going to be negative 0 0.5, and here's going to be negative one, and this is going to be equal to two, and this is going to be negative one. Three over two, 1.5, so negative 1.5, and this is going to be seven over two, 3.5, and this is going to be negative 2.5. So, so that's a matrix inverse, look here. If it's the first time my channel, if it, first time my channel, don't forget to, uh, to share with other people and you have an equation, leave a comment, click the like button, and you know, if this video is hard, but just write something down the video, man, like, man, your video was such and such, share with other people, there's a lot of people out there, man, who might need help or have a problem, feel free, leave a comment, let me know, it's your man again for one more time, man, I'm here, man.